Hello everyone, I am Prasad from the Structural Guide. Today we are going to discuss about what is foundation. Before moving to the today's discussion, I would like to request you all to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may get the notification on new videos. What is a foundation? Foundation is a structural element that transfers the superstructure load to the ground while maintaining the stability of the structure. The structure has a two components mainly. That is superstructure, this part, superstructure, then substructure, structure below that. These two components are very important, they are structural elements. So, we have loads in the superstructure, they, those loads will be transferred to the substructure, from that we transfer it to the ground. Depending on the type of foundation, this transfer mechanism will be vague. Now, we have a shallow foundation here. We have a reinforcement cage here for the deep foundations. We will discuss this uh, in detail uh, in this video. Why we need foundation? We need, to fo we need the foundation to safely transfer the superstructure load to the ground. There may be different type of load in the structure. Vertical loads, lateral loads. Vertical load includes self-weight of the structure, live load, super, superimposed load, likewise there may, be, uh, there may be any other type of load apply on the structure. In addition, we have a lateral loads, lateral loads like wind load, that is uh, some kind of a load act applied on the structure frequently. There are other load that are applied on the structure in a not in a regular manner but in, in a rare manner that that are, those are like uh, earthquake loads accidental loads those will apply in a in a while i mean uh, there may be occasional there may not be applied in the structure throughout the design life maybe so when when whatever the loads are apply on a structure it should be transferred to the foundation to the ground very safely that is the main requirement maintain the stability structure also very important now during this process during this load transfer structure should be stable there may be uh, established issues like overturning sliding or slope stability failures could occur structure should not be overturned due to the lateral load applied on the structure Structure should not slide, laterally move when, when lateral load are applied. When very large lateral training walls are attached to the structure, there may be a very, very high lateral load on structure. Then structure should not fail in overturning or slide. That we have to maintain, the, that stability we have to make. In addition, in a sloping ground like this, we may have to build the structures. Foundation will be built on this sloping ground. Okay, so in in these situations also, these foundations should be stable enough. In addition, the, there won't be a slope failures like this. Step this part of the ground is fail like this, then there will be a stable issue. Then the control of the controlling of the equal settlement, unequal settlement, consolidation settlement. There may be different types of settlement likewise. So structure should be able to retain or structure should be able to be within the design limits. Now even uniform settlement they have a limit. Now if if the uniform settlement is excessive then, then it will affect to the structure and the and the, its integrity of the structure with the other other elements. Different settlement also always cause problems. That is part of area, part of the foundation settle more than other type of foundation. There are different settlements. So it is it will be an issue that has to be addressed in the foundation design. Then the consolidation. When soil like clay are there under the ground below the foundations, there may be consolidation settlements. Such a situation should be handled in technical manner to avoid or with the excessive settlement of the structure and also impact on the superstructure. 
let's discuss briefly on the type of foundations mainly there are two type of foundations shallow foundations deep foundations shallow foundations are foundations that that are construct at the shallow depth they are not go into the deeper levels so pad footings strip footings combined footings we consider as a shallow foundation rough foundations are also kind of a shallow foundations we put all the columns in a one flat plate so if we move to the deep foundations they are cast in situ piles driven piles micro piles diaphragm walls there are many more. so those foundations mostly can go into up to the bedrock level sometimes when you don't find the bedrock nearby in some country this happened the bedrock is not close by so such situations you no know, those uh, deep piles may not be able to rest on the deep or bedrock but they may continue up to the hard floor layer or up to the level that is determined by the design so likewise uh, we can identify the type of foundations and their functions and how we do it how we do it so let's uh, end the end the to this session today we discuss about what is foundations and its functions and basically we highlight about briefly we highlight about type of foundations let's meet again from a new video thank you very much